You know those characters that are super awesome and are loved by so many people that only appear in crossover scenarios because they never get any of their own new big game titles? Yeah, these guys. The ones on life support. It's like the companies that own them see how much people love them but decide to give zero Fs about it. But I'm gonna try and bring someone out of that today. Which brings us to the big F who has been holding the big L for years. Captain Mother falcon no no the other yes. one this guy made his debut in super smash brothers on the n64 excuse me what i meant to say was he may as well have made his debut in super smash brothers because that's what 90 percent of the human population associates with him it isn't his actual franchise f0 no 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 he's been deemed the super smash brothers guy now kind of like how indiana jones is going to be known as the guy from fortnite to some kids why is that though many people first saw the good captain in the Super Smash Bros. series, and while that series has been extremely prevalent in the mainstream gaming sphere, F-Zero keeps drowning asking for a life jacket but instead gets handed a pool noodle. But why? Falcon is one of the biggest and most popular characters in Smash Bros, and has been a part of the meme craze before the term meme was even invented. But is that what he's been regulated to? Because he deserves better. Does F-Zero need a makeover? Or is Nintendo just being stubborn by not giving him a brand new AAA game. Firstly, let's address the elephant in the room. Should F-Zero still be a racing game? I have a strong feeling that part of the reason Nintendo doesn't make a AAA F-Zero game is they don't believe it even needs to exist because they have Mario Kart to carry them in that department. Even all these years later, they still end up giving Mario Kart 8 Deluxe more content. Some of that content being F-Zero related, with maps and the Blue Falcon. What I always found weird though is, why no cat? Captain Falcon is a playable racer. You have these other characters show up in a racing game, but the guy from an actual racing game, you don't include? but you'll put his car in instead. I know Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sold well, and saying it sold well is an understatement, but I do believe just like how you can make a platformer unique, the same can be done to make F-Zero a whole different experience from Mario Kart. That being said, it feels like Nintendo hasn't found a way to do this yet. Even when asked directly about F-Zero, they don't give any definitive answers about the future or direction they want to take the franchise in. This leads me to believe that even though F-Zero Zero has its roots as a racer, it may need to change it up a bit now. I talked about something similar to this in my Star Fox video, check it out after you finish this. But look at something like Star Fox Assault, that allowed the player multiple ways to play with Fox outside and inside the R-Wing. And we know lots of people enjoy playing Falcon outside as Blue Falcon in the Smash Bros series, so maybe there should be a mix of action added into F-Zero to make it different from Mario Kart. The story and single player experience in F-Zero even gives off a slightly more mature vibe than Mario Kart. Falcon himself is also an acclaimed bounty hunter, but you really only ever see him as a racer. Adding some more out-of-vehicle gameplay to F-Zero while beating up criminals and collecting bounties would be really fun, especially with Falcon's moveset, and you can even create new moves for him to employ in his combat style. Hell, you could even incorporate the Blue Falcon into the action by controlling it while fighting, so it rams into people, or you can ride on it for a speed boost into a Falcon Punch. You don't have to sacrifice the iconic Blue Falcon for action combat, it can easily be incorporated into it. We pretty much never get to see Falcon actually throwing hands when most people love when he's throwing hands. Some of Falcon's most iconic things about him are the Falcon Punch, Falcon Kick, and his patent knee of justice. Put all those things people love into the game. Now, there may be fans saying no, F-Zero should always be a racer and that's it. But I'm not saying to get rid of the racing, but rather add more features to round out the racing. Balance Captain Falcon's bounty hunter side with his Grand Prix racing persona. I don't think staying a pure racing game is doing F-Zero any favors, and the years without a big name title and Nintendo showing its hand by melding F-Zero 
into Mario Kart doesn't bode well either. Let's dive further into this. Here are the sales numbers for games in the F-Zero series. I want to particularly have a hard look at F-Zero GX because these sales have some conflicting information. In an interview that was done with Toshihiro Nagoshi, it was stated that GX had sold 1.5 million copies. The game also appeared in the Player's Choice magazine that recognized games that sold over a million copies. But that's weird, isn't it? Take a look at the Star Fox games released on the GameCube. That would mean GX was a bit under adventures, but sold much better than Star Fox Assault. And Star Fox got to have many more games in its series, so why snub F-Zero if it sold better? What if I told you, regardless of that interview, F-Zero GX didn't sell that many copies? F-Zero GX only sold 0.692 million units. The reason it was recognized in Player's Choice was Player's Choice dropped from having its game sell 1 million to 450,000 units instead. Funny enough, Activision of all companies stated this in 2003 before GX even launched. So whichever way you lean, it's still fishy and it still puts into question if Nintendo wants F-Zero to be a big named racer alongside Mario Kart. Kart. If it really did sell 1.5 million copies, it doesn't make sense that other Nintendo franchises had sold worse, but somehow received more AAA treatment. And if it sold poorly, what incentive would Nintendo have to keep a racer going if they had a very much more successful one? Yes, F-099 exists, and it's a fun game, and if you haven't tried it, you should. But that's more of a band-aid than any definitive proof that Nintendo cares enough to fully revitalize the franchise into a big Switch title. But you really should download and support it, after all, it is free and really fun to play. Now, back to the situation at hand. No, you wouldn't have to get rid of the racing element altogether for it to stand out as its own game. I mentioned F-Zero seems more mature than some of the other Nintendo franchises, and you definitely get more of a teen vibe from it rather than a small child's game. With that said, make the racing more combative instead of crazy mechanics like how Mario Kart uses shells, bananas, and bullet bills. Have Falcon's games feel more destructive? And yes, I know, while that has been the case with previous F-Zeros, take it up a notch. Especially in the generation we're in, Nintendo can clearly do this. They even pushed the Switch to make a gorgeous game like Tears of the Kingdom. They could absolutely and literally make sparks fly and create massive mayhem while racing. Make the emphasis on the racing be staying alive rather than just coming in first. I mean, can you imagine ramming and pinning another racer to the edge and making him stay there until he explodes? I think I just turned Captain Falcon into Blood Falcon. And while I do find not all games should have an open world mentality because it feels like it's being done to death nowadays, Falcon does have the perfect vehicle for getting around quickly, and instead of just one giant open world, maybe have some open segmented locations that you can drive around in and compete in different missions. I'm not the biggest fan of this franchise, but kind of like GTA, or the ones I do like more, Jack 2 and 3. Look how well those games incorporate different environments with the Underworld as well as the Grand Prix racing. This is something Nintendo could knock out of the park with F-Zero. The F-Zero world is so untapped, and while F-Zero GX and that one anime, you know the one I'm talking about, showed us more of it, Nintendo could add so much more. And you can add more Nintendo goodness to your day by falcon punching that subscribe button. So I think that's the benefit of having a sci-fi element to F-Zero. You can create the craziest and most outlandish places for Falcon to race in, and it wouldn't break you out of that world at all, because that's Captain Falcon's whole thing. Now, this is all well and good for me to say in theory, but Nintendo may want to test the waters for how truly popular Captain Falcon actually is. And there is a way to do this. Contrary to what I may have said earlier, put him in as a playable racer in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as his own DLC, and maybe add a couple more extra F-Zero characters to make it a bundle and see how it sells. With Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's lifespan this late into the game, if it still sold well, it would be a huge green flag for Nintendo. 
Nintendo. Now, this next one may be a bit crazy, but ever since I saw this trailer, I thought it would be cool. So hear me out. Have Captain Falcon show up as a DLC unit in Fire Emblem and see how well that sells. It's weird, I know, but ever since Sakurai put him in that Fire Emblem Smash Bros trailer, I fell in love with the idea of him being a fun non-story unit just to use on maps and Falcon punching the enemies. And I hope I'm not the only one who thought this. If I am, well... Testing the waters like this is a good way to actually get a handle on how popular of a character Falcon is for Nintendo. Then, if all things go over well, relaunch the franchise either on the Switch or its successor. I do believe there is life in F-Zero and untapped potential to truly bring it into this generation. The elements are all there to be exploited by Big Daddy Nintendo for massive amounts of money. It's just a question of will Nintendo even want to roll the dice on a mainstream F-Zero game again. At the end of the day, I believe Captain Falcon will still be a beloved character regardless, but it would be a shame to lose out on him having his own solo adventures and having to rely solely on Sakurai to show him the love he should be getting from Nintendo as a whole. This is the race that truly matters for Falcon, and he needs to come in first. Nath, out. Hey everyone, hope your day is going well, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and also, check out some of my other Nintendo videos on screen now. Hopefully you'll enjoy those too. Have a good one!